I'm very pleased to be a part of the 2022 Yushan Forum. I want to thank the, uh, my thanks to the Taiwan Asia Exchange Foundation for putting this event together and to promote dialogue and cooperation. Thank you for inviting me once again to share a few thoughts with you today, exploring the themes of revitalizing, reorienting, and reconnecting. I'm a longtime supporter of Taiwan, going back to my 36 years in the United States Congress. In fact, in 1979, when I was a very young member of Congress, I served as one of the floor managers for the passage of the Taiwan Relations Act. Last April, to mark the 42nd anniversary of that act, for which President Biden and I both voted, I was asked by the president to serve as a member of an unofficial delegation to Taiwan, along with former Deputy Secretaries of State, Richard Armitage and James Steinberg. Today, the United States stands with friends and allies across the Indo-Pacific to advance our shared prosperity, security, and values, including deepening our ties with Taiwan. We were honored to meet with President Tsai during our visit to Taipei and to reaffirm that Taiwan is a key partner to the United States in the Indo-Pacific. President Biden once again was expressing our commitment to engaging Taiwan, to deepening our relationship based on shared interests in line with the United States' One China policy as guided by the Taiwan Relations Act, three joint communiques, and six assurances. As all of you know, the United States and Taiwan have a strong relationship and we have, a long, we have long celebrated each other's democratic principles. Taiwan, in fact, is rated the eighth most democratic country in the world, ahead of Japan, Korea, and even the United States. Taiwan is an important partner on trade, science, technology, health, education, and advancing democratic values. Our deep economic ties continue to grow and mutually benefit both of our countries and the Indo-Pacific. Deepening our ties with Taiwan is an important part of U.S. policy in the region. We are committed to the peace or to peace in the region, which is to the benefit not only of Taiwan and our allies in the region, but to the United States as well. Taiwan has been supportive of U.S. efforts to combat climate change. Taiwan has been eager to promote democracy and participate and international organizations. And we have many educational exchanges with Taiwan, further strengthening the ties between our two countries. I believe the United States will continue to promote security, economic cooperation, and human rights in the Indo-Pacific. And doing so will strengthen trade, investments, diplomacy, and partnerships, particularly with Taiwan. What a wonderful idea to gather today to talk about these important regional relationships and how we can all work together towards a safer, more prosperous future. I applaud all of you. Congratulations on your efforts today. And once again, I thank you for asking me to share some thoughts, some brief thoughts this afternoon.